Hello and welcome to Foynes in County Limerick, Ireland on the Wild Atlantic Way. This is the Foynes Flying Boat and Maritime Museum where Irish coffee, the world's most famous drink, was invented in 1943. Helen now will tell you the story of how that happened and show you how to make it in the proper original way using Powers whiskey. Enjoy Slanta. Irish coffee was invented here in Foynes. It was in July 1943. Flight left Foynes bound for Newfoundland. Because of bad weather, the pilot decided to come back. The staff were alerted and came in to look after these passengers who were cold, damp, fed up and miserable. Joe Sheridan was a chef and he decided, on a whim really, to cheer them up and warm them up and he put a little drop of whiskey in their coffee. The staff waited with bated breath as the first passenger tasted this new concoction. He turned to Joe and he said, very nice Joe, is that Brazilian coffee? And Joe said, no, this is Irish coffee. And so Irish coffee was firmly on the menu here in the Foynes base every day after that. Now, it might have remained our secret here, but for a man called Stan Delaplane. He was in Ireland on business. He was a travel writer for the San Francisco Chronicle. And he had an Irish coffee at Shannon Airport. He really liked this Irish coffee, so when he went home, he told his friend who had the Buena Vista Cafe on Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco all about this exciting new drink. They spent a night trying to replicate this drink but failed miserably. So then they asked Joe, would he like to come to San Francisco and work for them at the Buena Vista? Joe accepted and it was really from there that he told the world about Irish coffee. Joe died and is buried in San Francisco. Now I'm going to show you all how to make the perfect Irish coffee. Now, to make the perfect Irish coffee, we use Powers Irish Whiskey, brown sugar, coffee of course, and some lightly whipped single cream. Now the consistency of the cream is very important. Lightly whip it so that it pours from the spoon just like that. Okay? Now, First step is we must heat the glass. So I'm going to put the spoon in because the spoon takes the heat and prevents the glass from cracking. So here we go. Give it a little stir. And I'll pour it into the bowl here. Now, there we go. Now I'm going to put in one spoon of brown sugar, a heaping spoon. There it goes. Now, some people at this stage, they put in the whiskey, but we don't because the glass is nice and hot now. We want to keep it that way, so I'll put the coffee in next. Now, don't forget to leave enough room for your whiskey. Just look about here. There you go, about there. Now, I'm going to give it a stir because we want to dissolve the brown sugar and that helps to keep the cream floating on top. So a good, good, good stir. Now for the main ingredient, the Powers Whiskey. It's one measure, and one measure only, of Powers Whiskey. A measure, a shot, or a jigger. So in it goes. Put it in. Give it a good shake. And then if you feel like it, you can always bend your elbow. There you go. Now, I'll give it a stir again because I want to blend all the ingredients together, the coffee, the whiskey and the sugar. And now there's a lovely smell of the coffee and the whiskey. There you go. It was at this stage, all those years ago, when Joe Sheridan was making his Irish coffee, that he thought about Brendan O'Regan, who was the restaurant manager. And Brendan had said to him, Joe, everything must have eye appeal. So it was then he decided to float the cream on top. And we're going to do exactly the same now. There you go, just checking the cream. I'm going to pour the cream onto the spoon, onto the coffee, gently. Here we go. And 
there you have it, the perfect Irish coffee. Slauncha. Thank you.